Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video and let's talk a little bit about this the Chinese MiG-21 so yeah, the J7D, the new addition as a premium, as a pack premium for the Chinese, a very very nice one and yeah, let's talk a little bit about it, okay? it's a must buy for me as well I'm excited to get this one and the MiG-23ML but yeah, make sure to subscribe guys, we're trying to hit 15,000 subscribers Thank you all the, the members, all the patrons, and the 15k I'm trying to hit before the end of the year. I think it's too much, but still, let's try to do it. I don't think we can, but let's try. Uh, so help me out there, subscribe, and yeah, let's talk a little bit about the J7D. So yeah, it is very much a MiG-21 bis, but it has basically not, it doesn't have the second stage afterburner. That's basically it, right? Uh, it has a domestically built um, WP-13, I think it's called, engine, and a different radar as well, but in-game they are basically the same as the MiG-21 Beast, but without the uh, second stage. Uh, it has six, uh, 67 kilonewtons of power, so it's around uh, 6 kilonewtons, 7 kilonewtons less than the MiG-21 Beast, and that's basically because of the second stage, okay? But uh, everything else is basically the same, so it will be the performance of it, it is very much like the MiG-21 Beast, but it is a little bit, tiny bit slower, especially in lower altitudes. Uh, but it is a between um, a mix between the um, the uh, the MF and the Beast. It's between those in performance, right? Uh, so yeah. And another uh, different thing is that, of course, it has the flares, uh, but they are in a different position in the tail, like the J7E, which is uh, pretty cool and the Q5A as well, and also the missile, so uh, not only it has the PL5B, which is an amazing missile, and I probably would get that instead of this, but it has, it has this as well, the PL7, which is a magic one copy um, that the Chinese uh, built in their homeland, so very cool, it's a different aircraft, I mean, it is the same as normal MiG-21s, but it will, has a, uh, it will have a little bit less power, as I said, um, the radar is the same, the performance in turning capabilities and everything else is the same, and it has different missiles. I was expecting, uh, since all the MiG-21 bases, uh, they have uh, all aspect missiles, I was expecting a PL-5E or another version of a PL-5 or something like that, that could be all aspect, uh, but we have the PL-7. I, I don't know, I, I feel like the Magic One is pretty good, but I miss, I mean, it, it, it lacks a little bit in some areas, uh, especially in the all aspect capabilities. I mean, I, I still think that the um, the uh, MiG-23 ML is a far better premium if you're talking about the aircraft itself. As you see here, many times and in the next battle you will see this properly, uh, I lose a lot of energy turning and it takes a while to get speed again. So it feels like an NMF sometimes, right? It's not like the beast that you can actually get the, the speed again very, very quickly, you know? It, it, it really, you feel the lack of uh, power uh, compared to the beast. But it's still a MiG-21. I love it so much. I love this type of aircraft that it's light, nimble, uh, just like the F-16 is, just like the MiG-23 kind of is, MiG-29. Aircraft such as this, I prefer it so much over the Su-27s and F-15s and F-4s uh, because they are much more fun to fly, in my opinion. I always loved the lighter aircraft and, uh, and more, like agile aircraft more than the uh, normal ones. So, the, the larger ones, I mean. So, yeah, there is a lot of personal uh, preference here. So, you have to consider that. Um, so, yeah, but it is, is it worth um, the $70? I mean, it depends, right? I don't think the $70 is cheap, right? It is expensive. No matter what, it is an expensive pack. But the thing is, I still think that if you have the money, I mean, if you are not having financial problems or anything like that, and if you are okay with expending this amount of money in a game such as War Thunder, uh, remember, for $70, you can buy very good packs in DCS, for example. I still think that DCS, for example, has its problems as well. I don't think DCS is perfect. It has a lot of problems, but still, um, it is the same kind of money-wise, same kind of uh, dollars that a pack, or a, a, a aircraft on there, right? 
So that's the main thing. I mean, that's the problem, right? But if you compare to other aircraft here, if you compare to all the other premiums that are leaked and are coming, uh, the J7D is up there, right? I still think that, as I said, uh, the MiG-23ML is a far better option uh, for the aircraft itself. Uh, but to be honest with me, the, the, the J7D is right up there together maybe with the Lazur. The Lazur will be better uh, because it has the all aspect R60Ms and it also can carry more missiles using the R60M as well and together with the better engine as well. So uh, the Lazur is still a better aircraft overall uh, and we will see some other aircraft that I, I, we still don't know how they will perform like the J30F5J, uh, apparently it is coming as well. So I will have to wait until we see that, just to make sure to to say a proper like uh, a proper opinion on what's the best aircraft for you to buy for the aircraft itself. I always say that premiums you need to buy uh, first for the nation and later for the aircraft. So first of all, you have to choose the nation that you want to research, right? And then after that, you just get one of the options that you have on that nation. For example. If you choose China, the only option that we will have is the J7 uh, on top here. So, yeah, it's you're kind of limited, right? I still think that it's very much um, a lot more worth it than the uh, $60 packs of the A5C. I think it's going to be way better than the A5C. A lot more fun to fly than the A5C. Even if it faces a lot of MiG-29s and F-16s, it's still way more fun to fly than that. Um, and way more fun to fly than the f5 shenyang as well i don't think i don't know if that's on sale uh, on sale as well uh, still but still it's an aircraft that i think it is very much worth it in the sense of the chinese tech tree and uh for the the aircraft itself right uh, is, is it worth it 70 dollars i think it depends i still think that we need regional pricing on this because for example here it's like as i said it's half a rent of money uh, for uh, European, maybe it's not that much, but for a country like mine, I mean, $70, I pay like $150 as my rent. So, I mean, you're going to pay half our rent worth of uh, money just for an aircraft such as this. I mean, I don't think it's that worth it, right? So that's the main problem. The money-wise, it's kind of problematic, right? But everything else, the aircraft itself is very, very fun to fly. It's a MiG-21, there's not much to talk about, but you do have to be careful with the speeds, as you see here, uh, you lose a lot of speed on turning. And yeah, just a normal thing about MiG-21s, right? So if you've flown one MiG-21, you already know that this is a problem. The base is the only one that can actually deal with that very easy. But yeah, guys, uh, let me know in the comments if you think that the J7D is worth it or not. And I see you guys on the next one. Subscribe, uh, we're trying to hit 15K, as I said. And I see you guys on the next one. So bye, guys, see ya.